Just made it to Auckland. Just a full day trip yesterday. A couple of taxis went to the wrong hotel. Tomorrow, meeting uh, the Dial in New Zealand. Then we'll uh, travel day to a uh, location. Then we'll jump on the boat and head up sort of northern direction along the east coast to chase a big uh, big kingfish that uh, New Zealand is renowned for and uh, some big snapper. And, uh, we'll do a bit of little a little bit of deep drop and stuff as well, so come off for the journey. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a really good trip. Uh, we're in Fongaroa. Yeah, on the Fongaroa Harbour here. He's got it. Fongaroa. Yeah, Fong yeah, yeah. Fongaroa. Scott, how's it How going, mate? Good, thank you. Very good. How are you? How are you? I couldn't How are you? find you. Yes, Scotty. Just seeing you again. Nice to see you. Brett. Yep. Um, stacks of car and mackerel in at the moment. So we're having trouble getting the light baits. Yeah, we had a world. Oh, hard to tell, man. It was like, like I wasn't looking exact directly at it, but it was a very big splash. But probably, I would assume. Did you walk out that walk? The commercial. <laughs> you didn't sound that convincing. No, no. I'll just say I won't even give it a crack. No, no, no. We're in New Zealand up the top. I bet Scotty does a fierce and haka. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, so. They run pretty tasty, isn't it? Let's go up here. We've just turned up uh, in Whangaroa in uh, the north of New Zealand. Um, we're going to head out from here tomorrow on the boat. Head outside, but we just thought we'd pull in here and, and have a quick crack. Um, just got the new battlers here and a few little bits and pieces to throw around. Um, the boys here here from NZ as well. They're just walking up the wharf behind you, and um, yeah, we'll see if we can get a couple. Obviously, the Cavallis, Tahiki Reef, and uh, all those pens out there. There's lots of pens out there that hold great kangies for, uh, for, for your deep water jigging. At the back of the Ruahinis, there's some pens that are 60 to 90 meters. Good kangies, good jigging depth. Um, and then the other option is going into 20 meters to 40 meters and having a go at those um, shallow water kings on top water. We get them all the time taking bait on the surface around the boat when we're drifting. So that could be a bit of a nudge tomorrow as well. This morning, no wind, bluebird skies, a bit of mm. fog, so it's definitely going to be good out there. Yummy, yeah. Hopefully, we can get it from some little missiles. Big missiles. Big missiles. Big missiles. Nice. That's just big. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. fishing missions start with a little bit of bait gathering and luckily for us Whangaroa Harbour is chock a block at this time of year full of big chunky jack mackerel. Start the day with a bit of caffeine. 
Radio day one at New Zealand here. We're on the beautiful Nautilus, Scotty's boat. Uh, we're out here in the north of New Zealand. We're with the boys from Daiwa, New Zealand. So uh, we've got Scotty here from product, Josh from marketing. We've got Ben Brown, built to fish. Uh, we've got Bredo here as well. We're, uh, we're out to catch some kingies. We just absolutely killed the bait. So we've got a uh, we've got a tank full of bait to drop down for some liveies, got some strip baits, everything we need. And uh, so this is the crew. This is the next three days uh, out here in the beautiful North New Zealand. It's got fins. It's in trouble. <laughs> Not so Braden. Um, let's not let's not do that. Though. Yeah, he's he's devoid of FD. Not tying today, but um, nah, just getting prepped. Um, just pulling up to one of the first spots for the day. We just had a little bit of a look at a spot back there. Heaps of bait on top, but no kingies kicking around. So we've got a little spot out here. It's about 40 meters comes up to 14. Um, so hopefully there's some kings sitting around on top. We can throw some top waters. Um, drop down some jigs. There's some good snapper and John Dory here as well, so oh, yeah. fingers crossed we can um, yeah tick off a few species and, and yeah we'll get all the boys men up. So see how we go. So just dropping a jig down at the first spot. Just running a 10,000 Maverick here, so one of the new Mavericks. And what are we looking at here? Okay, Kings in 30 meters here. Brownie's on. Dropped it. So Brownie just uh, missed a fish on a on a live bait, so I'm dropping the jig back down. So we'll see if we can hook one up on the jig here. So just dropping back down. It's not super deep here. Later on in the day we'll jig in sort of 80 to 100 meters. It's only about sort of 40 to 50 meters here, so you can get through your tree pretty quick. Still ties you out, but oh, had a hot, had a good bite then. Just missed one. Let's see if we can come back. And it's kinked in the jig, so that was obviously quite a decent fish that ate that. So it's missing a lot of pain off the side there, so there he is, into him. This looks like a little rat, it's not too big. Start to start. Not quite the size that this suit is designed for. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So dropping back down again, as I said before. Uh, missed a few kings in those last few, last few drifts. Um, had a few bites, but none hook up yet. Brownie just got one on the livey, so yeah, we'll see how we go with this drift. Yep, got him. Oh. Shark? What's that weird? Is that a shark or is that just a king? Being weird. Oh, shark. Shark. Oh well. On the bright side, at least I got my jig back. So he would have been maybe. Yeah, probably maybe 11 kilos. Oh, probably not, maybe 9 kilos. Still, nice little king. Big shark there, swimming around Brownie's line. But uh, it's a bit of a shame, but that's, that's fishing for you, isn't it, I suppose? Pull on bucket. Another four mile steam, just trying to find some fish. Going to a little point that's 
50 metres up to 22, so a chance of some top water action as well as a bit of jigging, so that'll be good. Oh, it's hard. Let's go, we've got a fish. I'll throw this off the front, see what happens. Oh, yep. Oh, small, I think. No, I got it. Oh, it's decent fish. Real good fish. Decent. He's going to go here and... He's gonna wrap me on the gunnel or something in a sec. Cheers. Excellent. Thanks, Brownie. Legend. Oh, there he goes. Sorry, bro. That's alright, that's no dramas. You win some, you lose some. But yeah, that was a nice king. Probably how big you reckon? 12, 15 yeah, kilos. Yeah, 12, 15. So, mm. good start. First fish on top order for the trip on the Saltega Dive Star. Using the new Maverick there, that was a 14,000 size. I'm a bit puffed now, so, but Braden just missed a fish on one of the little Saltega Rough Rides. Um, so, yeah, they're definitely here, so fingers crossed we can get another one. So, Oof. Just missed another one. Had two swipes at it. Probably a bigger fish than the last one. Probably would have been about 17, 18 kilos. We just sort of ghosted a little, come up behind it. Didn't really commit. So, yeah, fingers crossed. We'll do another drift. We're a little bit off on that one. So, that wind's changed a little bit. So, we'll just uh, push a little bit further inland and then hopefully we'll get that drift right just over the top of that pin there. And yeah, fingers crossed we can um, get a couple of big ones. Beautiful lens at Kingy, so about 10 11 kilos, so not a monster, but any king on top water is good fun. So, yeah, the boys up the front, Scotty's hooked up, Braden just missed another one, so gonna put this one back and get, get into them again. Boys are on. Tired off that one. Had to get him back in the water nice and quick. Didn't want to have him flap around on the deck too long. Obviously, we're catching these fish and want to take care of them. So, catch them, put them back in the water as soon as we can. So, definitely, but definitely tired. <laughs> definitely tired. Oh, oh, they're here. They're here. Beat him. Beat him, bro.
Yeah, on it, on it. Set. Oh, pretty boy. Got him. Hooked up again on the dive star on the 14,000 14, Mavericks. Boys are getting smashed behind me, so hopefully they'll hook up as well. This fish is not too big, I think it's a bit of a small fish, might be hooked a bit weird under the, under the chin, I think. No monster, but very, very good fun on any tackle. I'll just hold him up. Nice fat one, this one, so quite heavy. There you go. Nice NZ Kingfish. Probably fat one this one. Probably same size, that sort of 10, 11 kilos. We'll get a couple of pickies and we'll, um, we'll get him back. And he's off. The fish have seemed to slow down a little bit. Um, we have caught quite a few fish and, and stung a few fish off this reef now, so they might be off the chew maybe. Um, we'll probably finish this drift up and if we don't get any more fish, we'll almost likely move. But um, definitely it's, it's been apparent with this one is, yeah, casting distance is key, so getting that longer cast out. Um, super important when you're casting that you, with a big stick bait like this, you, you use a pendulum, pendulum sort of action rather than sort of just trying to cast off the tip like this. You want to really swing it back and then reef into it and pendulum over. Just enables you to cast a lot dis a lot better distance just because you get a much better load through your rod. So we just had a pretty good session here um, chasing some, some kingies. Uh, we've caught quite a few um, testing out the Maverick. So this is a 14,000 I've been running. Braden's got an 18,000 over there, which you caught in the last fish on before. Um, really nice reel, um, monocoque body. Um, they've got the G1 Duralunium gear in them, same gear that you'll find prevalent in the Saltiga um, and also in the Sirtate Saltwater. So really nice reel, super powerful. This is an extra high gear. Um, and one thing you'll notice with this reel, even when you have a fish on, super easy to wind thanks to that really large diameter uh, drive gear. Um, ATD drag, long cast ABS spool. Very, very nice reel. Um, super, super nice to use. So really happy with these. And yeah, fingers crossed we can tick off a few more fish um, on these over the next few days. So it's only day one, two more days to go. Um, we'll rip in and see what we can get. That excess line in the bin. It's a pin. We're just pulling up to the next spot. Um, comes up from about 60 metres up to 10. Um, so we want to get another good spot for top water. But um, yeah, with my connection, I just like to do very simple, just a three turn uni. So just go through one, two, three, very simple. Tighten it down, make sure you lube it up heaps. Pull it down so it's almost all the way. And then give it a nice, hard, forceful tug, and then you see it lines up nice. And up we go. Okay, let's go. Bait over there. See that big bait school? Straight ahead from me. Just making a bit of a quick move. We pulled up on the ledge here and there's a bit of a bait school down here, so we'll um, yeah, we'll try and get a few casts in and around the bait. Yeah, it looks really nice. Here. It's definitely it's overcast now. It's looking real nice, so we're um, we're definitely in with a shot. Yeah, it's all bait. Yeah, it is bait, yeah.
Yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Get him, boys. Got him? Oh. Yep. Yeah, hell yeah. Jeez. Go, Freddy. This might be a better fish, this one. It looked like a decent bite. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, yeah. It's up surface. So. Watch now. That's oh, good fish. Good fish, boy. Oh, the size of that thing. It's a very good fish. It's a really good fish. That's a good fish. Yeah, nice fish. So. Definitely um, my best for the trip so far. It'll be a uh, nudging 15, good solid 15 kilos. We'll um, get this one back in the water and yeah, hopefully catch another one. So absolutely stoked with that. Best NZ King fish for a while, so away he goes. And off like a rocket. Stoked. Let's get some more. I'm gonna get this in. Oh, look at it all out there. Grab a soft bait. Meet you right back. <laughs> this has got a big snapper in India about. That in behind there. We've snuck our way up into a little bit more shallower water. I think we're in 10 meters or something like that. We're throwing some bait junkies around for some snappy doos. Um, we'll see how we go. Brett's caught a couple of little ones on Koga. Um, I think Scotty got one on plastic just before. Nothing too big. Let's see if we can get some of them big daddies uh, up here in the shallows in the afternoon. The sun's going down, so it should be uh, should start to fire up pretty soon. So we'll just keep persisting, try a few different spots, and see if we can come across a couple of nobbies. Get him. That'd be a wrap for uh, for day one at the 
far north in New Zealand here. Some really good fish caught today. Ben got that cracking snapper just before. Brett caught some really good fish on top water. We all got some really good fish on top water, but, uh, but Brett's been the standout today on stick baits. Uh, we dropped a couple of baits. A few got eaten by some smaller kings, but nothing too crazy. But uh, overall, we, uh, we had a really good day. The, uh, the Mavericks got a good seeing too. Uh, I think tomorrow we're going to be looking for some deep fish. We're going to be doing a bit of electricing, uh, doing a bit of jigging, probably a little bit more top water maybe. At the end of the day, again, a little bit more soft baiting. But uh, all in all, the far north of uh, New Zealand has turned it on. This place is stunning. There's fish everywhere. And, uh, and let's hope that day two, we, uh, we get a bit even harder than day one. Snapper master, caught a snapper. That's what I do, mate. It's my cross to beer. Graydon got a good snapper. Graydon got a good snapper. How'd Hattie like to tie this up, Skip? Yeah, the pleats are too small for this rope. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks very much for today. It was good. We're going to go again, come down the club again? Hell yeah. Good job on the camera.